Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is Digital One, EET 121. Today we're going to have a discussion about an introduction to basic logic operations. So Mr. Spock, contrary to public opinion, is not the inventor of logic. Uh, it was developed by a guy named George Boole and it's referred to as Boolean algebra. Basically, it's a symbolic manipulation, very akin to human reasoning. Based on input, you can make a decision, okay? So the three basic elements of Boolean algebra, logical operations, um, are a NOT gate, an AND gate, and an OR gate. So the basic scheme for anything here is the gates are going to have certain inputs coming in. There's going to be a gate, and there's going to be outputs or outputs, output or outputs, excuse me. So ins, the gate, and the out or the outs. Any number ins, any number outs. Depends on what the gate is. So three basic gates, as I previously discussed, a not, an and, and an or. And even if you're somewhat mathematically inclined, you've probably already seen a not and an and and an or. So what a not gate is, what it looks like, it's a triangle with a little bubble on it. There's our in and there's our out. If A comes in, X comes out. All X is is the negation of A. Okay, so if we're going to develop this thing called a truth table for all possible occurrences of A, we've got A coming in as a zero, a zero volt signal or a logical low, a one coming in as a logical high. All X is is the inversion of A. So if it comes in as zero, comes out of one, comes in a one, comes out of zero. Okay, so sometimes in text you'll often see a bang. That means not A. Additionally, you'll also see A with a overline. That also means not A. So X is equal to A bang. X is equal to not A. It's the negation of A. And that is a not gate. Think of it, it's just opposite world. A comes in and it comes out X, which is the opposite of A. Okay, so AND, AND gate, oops, <laughs> for spell it right, an AND gate looks kind of like this, semicircular with a flat on one edge. You've got two inputs. In this particular case, we're going to call it A and B, and we've got a single output. In this case, we're going to call it X, A, B, X. So for all possible occurrences of A and B, so our 0 and 0, X is going to be a 0. A 0 and 1, X is also going to be a 0. A1, B0, 0, 1 and 1, that's the only time, the one and only time, the output for the AND gate goes high. So if you can sum this up in some English words, the output for the AND is only high if both inputs are high. So output high only if both inputs are high. OK, so our third gate, our OR. Our OR, it also has two inputs going into it. And it's got this semicircular curve and this pointy little thing here. And that's a single output X. Given the truth table for all possible occurrences of A and B and our output X, So when they're both zero, the output is also a logical zero. When A is zero and B is one, the output is one. When A is one and the 
and b is a zero, the output is also one. And when both inputs are one, the output is one. So we could easily summarize the operation of an OR gate as the output is high if any input is high. OK? OK, so these particular gates here, these three particular gates, the NOT and an OR, while not impressive in and of themselves, they can be uh, excuse me, combined to form more complex systems. They're the basic building blocks for some of the logic functions we're about to discuss in the next lecture.